Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I wanted to cover the topic of lashing packages. By lashing together a package, you prevent it from coming undone and you protect it while you're transporting it. As such, this is a useful skill, especially if you do a lot of moving around or you send out a lot of packages. Lashings are quite secure and they can be quite easy to do once you grasp the basics. So with that said, I'm going to show you the various aspects of lashings and do a basic one after that. Lashings are usually done using some sort of cordage. You can use rope, you can use twine, whatever you have available. Now to start off, we're going to form some sort of a loop onto one of the ends in order to be able to start our lashing. Now what kind of a loop you make usually depends on the type of rope you're using. For example, regular rope can have a bowline knot and that will do the job just fine. Natural ropes can have an eye spliced in and this is a more permanent solution. Smaller cordage as well as twine is usually better off with an angler's loop. So these are a few examples of the loops that you can use in order to start your lashings. In this demonstration I'm going to be using the bowline knot so I'm going to show you how to tie it. It is all in all very simple. We take our working end, we make a loop, then we feed our working end under and through the loop, behind the standing end, then take our working end and feed it back into the first loop that we made. Then tighten up and you have a bowline knot. We now have a loop as well as a package to lash. We're going to continue by taking the other end of our cordage and we're going to feed it under and through the loop. This creates, in this case, a running bowline. We're now going to place this new loop over the package. Usually, the bowline should be at about the middle of the package. Now we're going to continue by traveling over to one of the sides, then come around and come up on the other side, like this. And with this we have already done a basic lashing. Now all we need to do is finish it up. To finish it up we have several options. So one option for finishing is to go under this top part. Like this. Tighten up. And then simply finish with a series of hitches. So we travel over here, then under, and tighten up. Then repeat over, then under this strand, and tighten up. And this is one way of finishing. The second way of finishing is even easier. What we do is take our working end, travel under this top strand, then over the top, like this, creating a hitch, tighten up, then repeat. 
under this strand, over the strand, and into the loop, creating a hitch. So again, a simple series of hitches. Now one additional note in lashing is that you can use crossing knots. Crossing knots are extremely important because they enable you to have a much more stable lashing. To do it, we're again going to do our lashing, but this time adding a crossing knot. So I have my loop here, again a bowline knot, I'm going to feed my end of cordage through it and again create a running bowline. I'm going to place it over the package, then tighten up like this, then travel off to the side, coming around. And this time, at the bottom, we're going to add a crossing knot. A crossing knot is done very simply. So, we make a bite by folding our working end over like this, then traveling with our working end under and in between the bite. Like this. Tighten up. And this crossing knot is going to prevent this strand from moving much. Then we continue our lashing again. Over to the top side. And again here, we're going to finish in some sort of way. So again. Under this top strand, tighten up, then do a few hitches. There you have it. Again, a lashing, but this time a bit more secure. At this point, you are already familiar with the basic concepts of lashing. You know how to set up a loop, you know how to do your lashing, you know how to finish it up, as well as how to reinforce your lashing with crossing knots if you so choose. At this point, I'm going to show you how to handle a longer package. So let's say that we want two wraparounds here at the middle. We're going to take our loop again, feed the other end through, which creates a running loop. I now place my loop over my package, let's say up to here, then tighten it up. So something like this. Now I move towards the other side, the longer side, which doesn't have a wraparound, like this, and then here I make an elbow, like this. Then I wrap around, like this, coming over this horizontal strand, then under the vertical strand, basically creating a hitch. Then I continue traveling horizontally around the package, onto the other side. At the other side, I come up, and at this point I can finish my lashing. Again, all I'm going to do is do a series of hitches. So I come around here, tighten up, then do two hitches.
And this is a nice longer lashing that you can use on longer packages. Now again, this longer lashing can also be reinforced with a couple of crossing knots. So let's do a reinforced longer lashing. So again, I have a loop. I take the other end of my cord, feed it through. Again, I have a running loop, which I place over the package and tighten it up. So something like this. Then I travel towards the other side. Make an elbow, come around, over the horizontal end, under the vertical end to create a hitch. Then travel around. And once I come to the horizontal end, what I'm going to do is make a bite by folding my working end over. Then I'm going to come in between the two strands of the bite to create a crossing knot. Like this. Then I come to the other horizontal part and I do the same thing. So a bite. Then I travel under the horizontal end. And in between the two strands of the bite. And this makes a reinforced bottom end. Then I move to the top side. Here. And again, all I'm going to do is a couple of hitches. And there you have it. A reinforced version with the bottom reinforced using a couple of crossing knots. This is a lot more secure, so I recommend it when you have the option. So guys, at this point we came to the end of this video. I think that we covered the basics of lashing various packages quite well. Thank you and see you next time.